Researchers continues to unearth evidence of prehistoric creatures with characteristics beyond our imagination. Earth was thriving long before humans came into the picture. But what of the creatures that leaves little or no evidence behind? What of the creatures that are more clever than us and have managed to stay hidden? It's easy to dismiss mythical creatures as just made up legends, but perhaps they have successfully found ways to remain hidden from the human population. Let's look at five mythical creatures that could have existed, and probably still do. The last creature will surprise you, so stay tuned. The Yeti The Yeti is a giant human or ape-like creature covered in thick fur that lives in snowy Himalayan mountains. It is also referred to as the Abominable Snowman. There are people throughout history that have dedicated their lives to looking for the Yeti, and some say they have found him. Scientists continue to dismiss the existence of the Yeti, but evidence continues to pop up. Recently, in 2019, the Indian army brought forth pictures of giant human-like footprints in the Himalayan snow. Many have seen the Yeti for themselves, but have little to no evidence to prove it. It appears that the Yeti is quite shy. The Himalayan Yeti has a Siberian cousin as well. The Russians call him the Chichuna. He is large, upwards of 7 feet just like the Yeti, but instead he has dark fur rather than white. The Chichuna is said to be more aggressive than his Yeti brethren, and are known to eat human flesh. Realists and pessimists argue that Chichuna is a humanoid Neanderthal that lived in the wilderness. He wears animal skins which cause him to resemble a furry creature. A British explorer by the name of Daniel Taylor has been looking for the abominable snowman for 60 years and he says that he finally found him. Well, not the Yeti himself, but parts of his DNA that resembles that of a bear with some key variations. With the current crisis of rapid climate change, the Yeti's natural habitat is rapidly deteriorating so it's only a matter of time before the Yeti makes himself visible again. Only time will tell if this mythical creature truly exists. The Kraken The Kraken is the original titan of sea monsters. It is most likely the largest of all the legendary monsters and its origins span Norway, Iceland, and Greenland. The Kraken gained popularity through its vicious attack on ships. It would use its giant tentacles to crush what it could of the ships and passengers while it swam around the ship to create a funnel to sink the vessel. The Kraken would devour sailors and pirates alike, leaving only few survivors to tell the tale. While the Kraken is frequently shown in modern art as a massive squid, Older's description of the monster describes it as a giant crab with massive legs. The Kraken, however, was not always bad news. Large schools of fish could be found swimming in the currents of the giant Kraken. Surprisingly, Kraken poop was like fish bait. They loved it. In fact, when sailors saw fish suddenly rising to the surface, they knew a Kraken attack would soon follow. Brave fishermen who dared to cast their nets would bring up a profitable haul if they didn't die in the process. The first documented description of the Kraken was by King's Fair of Norway in 1180. Like many other tales, the Kraken was inspired by actual events and was based on reports of sightings of a giant squid. Carl von Linné a renowned zoologist and the founding father of biological systematics from the 18th century claimed that the kraken is a genuine organism in Systema naturae. Now there is a thing as giant squids that can be found in the deep sea. These giant squids grow to enormous sizes due to a phenomenon called deep sea gigantism and some reports and pictures have shown their existence alongside boats and divers. 
However, scientists believe the size of giant squids to be around 40 to 50 feet in length, while the kraken is said to be 10 times the size of that. It would really be impressive and scary at the same time to think of a creature of that enormous size still alive somewhere in the ocean. El Chupacabra El Chupacabra is a beast from Latin American folklore that is commonly used to terrorize children and their behaving. In March 1995, the first attacks from real chupacabras were documented and published in the press. It happened in Puerto Rico, where eight sheep were found dead with three chest puncture wounds. Their bodies were shriveled and completely drained of blood. This attack terrified the people because it appeared to be something supernatural. A witness by the name of Madeline Tolentino saw the chupacabra a few months later in the Puerto Rican city of Canovanas, when up to 150 farm animals and pets were found dead. Those who have seen it described it as looking like a lizard with sharp spines down its back and leathery or scaly greenish gray skin. It is claimed to be between 3 and 4 feet tall, and it stands and hops like a kangaroo. Some claim that the chupacabra has been around since the time of the Aztec civilization. People have also claimed sighting El Chupacabra as recently as 2014, saying he was more terrifying than his legend. The chupacabra has been spotted in Mexico, the majority of Latin America, some of South America, and even some Caribbean islands. There have also been reports of sightings in Russia and the state of Maine in the past. Those who believe are confident that there is something out there to be discovered. People have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of capturing El Chupacabra. Lastly, some claim that the Chupacabra is actually a coyote. But the townspeople refused to accept this explanation because the animals were not eaten just killed. So just be careful the next time you visit Latin America. You never know when El Chupacabra will evolve and develop a taste for human flesh. Mermaids Perhaps the most debated of all mythical creatures is the merfolk. Also known as the merpeople, mermaids, or merman. These water-dwelling, half-fish, half-human creatures has perplexed landwalkers for centuries, and nearly every culture has its own version of the mermaid. Cave paintings of mermaids has been discovered dating back 30,000 years ago. Oftentimes, mermaids are said to be water spirits, or jinns, that reside near or inside water. Children are taught to be aware of the mermaid's call because they are often evil and can lure you into devilish acts or even drown you. How is it that cultures that have never interacted throughout history can describe almost identical creatures? Where is this knowledge coming from? When you think of mermaids, you probably think of a beautiful woman with less beautiful hair, great skin complexion, a color tone resembling that of humans, and a lower body that merges that of a human body to a fish tail. However, the physical description of mermaids is far from the beautiful maidens depicted in the cartoons. According to one historic text, Arabian Nights, mermaids are described as having moon faces with their hands and feet attached to their stomachs. Mermaids are said to have a grayish, bluish complexion with rubbery skin. Sometimes, they are described as having gills on their faces or the side of their bodies. Some who have claimed to see merpeople describe them as something straight out of a horror film, that they are more so resembling sea monsters than humans. Scientists have long since explained mermaid sightings as sea creatures, such as walruses seen from a distance. They state that there is no concrete evidence to prove that human-like creatures live inside bodies of water. Other legends, like the lost city of Atlantis and the Bermuda Triangle, play into the possibility that there is still so much about the oceans we don't know about. 
Scientists admit that the majority of the ocean still remains unexplored. There are many stories about mermaid sightings that I won't get to in this video, but I would love to hear if you have any encounters. Let me know in the comments below. Imugi, the Korean Dragon The Imugi Dragon looks like what you would find as decoration in Chinese New Year celebrations. They are frequently portrayed as four-legged, lengthy reptiles that resemble snakes with long beards. Unlike the mythical European dragons, Imugi doesn't have wings. The legend says that Imugis are creatures that have not yet developed or earned their wings to become full-grown dragons. The Imogi, like most dragon stories, probably originated with the discovery of extinct animal bones by prehistoric people. Scientists say the most likely explanation is that dragon bones are dinosaur bones. This argument is convincing when you consider a dragon is a mix of existing creatures. The head of a lizard, body of a snake, wings of a bird, it's not such a far-fetched notion really. The Imogi is said to have strong magical powers and the ability to create life. In prehistoric times, people simply associated supernatural powers with things they did not understand. To see an Imogi is considered a good omen, and people have claimed to see it near bodies of water and caves. There is one historic monstrous creature that resembles the Imogi called the Titanoboa. Titanoboa was the longest snake to ever slither across the earth, and several specimens has been discovered that shows that they could reach length of up to 42 feet and weighs up to 2,500 pounds. Scientists say that the Titanoboa died off 58 million years ago. Could this ancient snake be the creature that many people believe is the Imogi? One thing that we could all agree on is that myths have origins. A sprinkle of science, a bit of exaggeration, a dash of fear, and a dollop of hope. That's the recipe you need to be a true believer. The legends we have today might have shapeshifted into the impossible, but they all originate from valid human experiences. Is it fair to say something doesn't exist simply because you have never seen it? On the flip side, is seeing always believing? Do our eyes deceive us at times? Ask yourself, would you believe in dinosaurs if you never saw the bones? The narwhal was long believed to be a mythical creature until it was captured. We shouldn't be so quick to close our minds off to fantastic possibilities. Eons from now, the creatures of that time could possibly be debating if humans have existed or are they just a myth? Imagine. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our late night top 5 channel. We're a new channel and would love to have your support by subscribing, liking, or simply dropping a comment down below. To watch more interesting late night videos, click the links to continue watching more.